Hey, I'm Joy and today we're making paper snowflakes. It's one of my favorite things to make before Christmas and to be honest, I thought that's a common thing to do. <laughs> but apparently not, so we have to fix that, especially because it's super easy and really fun. At least to me, I guess. <laughs> first things first, here's all you need. A basic sheet of paper. The thinner, the better. And scissors. If you have tiny ones, that could make things easier. If not, you'll be fine. That's it. Let's go. Step one, grab your paper. Easy peasy. We need a square. If you already have a square paper, that's perfect. And you can ignore this step. Everyone else, just fold this corner to the opposite edge like that. And then make sure you folded it nice and neat. Maybe go over it with something to like just get a nice and crisp fold. <laughs> yeah, all we need is this triangle. So we cut off the excess rectangle just like that. You can save this for later to make more tiny snowflakes. Step two, we're gonna start folding the base of our snowflake. Fold one of the narrow corners onto the other one. As you can see here, make sure it's all looking nice. <laughs> It'll really help you when cutting it if you fold stuff as neat as possible. Step three. We repeat the same thing. <laughs> Fold the narrow corner over the long side. Keep your folds nice. Step four, the last fold. This time we grab the 90 degree angle and drag that corner over to align it with the long edge. And it's gonna be a bit chunky at this point, but that's normal, so don't worry about it. And yeah, step five. Very simple. Chop off the excess triangles. Ta -da! And now we're ready for the fun part. Cut our snowflake. Ching! Usually I start with the middle, which is the small side of our triangle. And that will become the center of the snowflake once we unfold it like that. But don't open your snowflake once there's more cuts than this or you will not manage to put it back together. Now I'm cutting what will be the spikes of the snowflake. To make it easier to see on camera what I'm doing, I'll cut a really simple example and show you other ideas in the end. There's only two things you gotta pay attention to. Never cut off the bridge points on the side. You need things to stay connected for it to work. Also make sure to flip it every now and then because the paper is folded thick so it's not always properly aligned. So one side might look like you have enough space to cut but on the other you don't. <laughs> Honestly, this really isn't complicated. It makes sense when you do it. And if you accidentally cut somewhere you shouldn't, you will remember not to next time. <laughs> it's just paper so there's no high stakes. Just make a new one. I'm just cutting super simple triangles until most of the paper is cut away. It can be a bit fidgety. It's a lot of paper to cut through, so make sure you have sharp scissors. I think mine were a little bit crooked, so that didn't help. <laughs> and now onto the best part, <laughs> unfolding it. It's like Christmas unwrapping a present. You don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, so easy triangles make for a simple but cute snowflake. But you can do so many different things. Here's some other patterns that I've cut for inspiration. Yes, you can pause or take a screenshot or even Google patterns. But honestly, I think you should just start having fun <laughs> and explore what you can do and what shapes come from it. It's just like magic to unfold these and be surprised by what you made. Kind of like real snowflakes as well, because every single one is gonna be different and has its own charm in a unique way. And I love that. <laughs> I highly recommend ironing the snowflakes in the end to make them nice and flat. So you can like hang them on your windows or something. Thank you for watching. 